guys welcome today i'm doing a, uh, a video that i don't think anybody's done really there's like one person but nobody really even opens it i don't know what the deal is but um this is jim anvil nightheart um collector's edition he is uh pretty cool looking <clears throat> when i saw it i really i really wanted it um picture of him on the side and on the back it just shows us that he's from Reno Nevada and um, world tag team champion and a hall of famer original member of the legendary heart foundation and what was an unsettling display of power athleticism and unhinged charisma and that's it let's uh let's get him open all right, so out of the box, we see his nice jacket right here. I've said this before. I hate that uh, Mattel just doesn't know how to make these because um, they just don't make them the right way. Now, what the heck is going on here? They stuck this on the back with tape. Great. Very stupid decision. All right, so let's get this out. Mattel's jackets are pretty nice but they're so thin and cheap that um they don't last very long but uh, this is a jacket let's get a close look at this let's see if i could um there we go looks friggin awesome it really does the anvil jacket specifically for him it's got like this little thing that kind of looks like a zipper there very nice so obviously he's got two fists and he's got his uh, signature glasses. Well, let's look at the figure himself, shall we? In order to prevent theft, I think, they really keep these stuck in there. Where basically they just don't come out. You have to kind of just pull out the hand for it to like come out. Like this is, I don't know, this is just unnecessary, I think. Okay, so here's an up close of the figure himself. It's got a new skin, so that's pretty cool. But let's start at the bottom here. So you got his anvil boots. Let's see. Got the anvil boots. Really nice design with all the anvils on the side. Right there. And on the other side as well. And anvil boots there again. And all on the side. Now on the back, obviously his name, anvil. Back of the figure. Very, very normal. Nothing really to see back here. Still really cool. Got his uh, hair. Really nicely done. Now let's turn around. There's nothing really on the other side as far as the tights himself. They're all just black. It's got the little anvil right here in the front. And his signature chest hair really cool as well and um so this is his he's very like, what, what, what should i say this like? this is like his um evil laugh i don't know let's see see if i could fix this a little bit here all right there we go so yeah, there's like his evil laugh right there. So I can just picture him like, you know, just laughing it off. Um, it looks really cool. So let's get a, a little bit closer to his scan. I wish they would have painted the back at least pink. It looks believable. But it does not. It's uh, just black. Alright, so I got this guy here. Um, I just want to look a little bit at the face again. So... Like I said, um, inside is just black. They did paint some of his teeth, so that's kind of nice. He's got that laughing smile, as I mentioned. I don't know how I feel about it. It, it looks like him. Um, it's just these, these expression ones. I don't know. But I guess to pose him in whatever, you know, it'll, it'll look nice. I wanted to compare this to the Jax one because they made the exact same figure. Jax went with a uh, straight face. Mattel did not. As you can see as far as how tall they are and everything. Obviously Jack's figures are 
bigger overall. Um, but here's the detail on everything. So you got the back. Surprisingly, Jack's made all the um, everything here, all, all the designs and everything pretty well. What Jack's did not do, because they were known to be quite lazy. No chest hair. So that's that, unfortunately. Um, all right, now let's take a look at his accessories. I mean, what, set the, what sets it apart is, you know, the accessories. Although, um, you know, what I mentioned, these are not the best quality. They're still pretty decent. It's pretty cool to have it. So this is Anvil with his heart foundation. Really cool. Let's get the uh, glasses on him. So that's him right there. Really, really nice. And uh, that's fully on him now. So basically, he'd just be a uh, just be like that. So I actually do like it. Um, let's place him right here. And um, let's, uh, hold on, let's get a, a nice uh, heart foundation right there. So we got Natalia, Brett the Hitman Heart, and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. So this is pretty cool. They got their jackets. So obviously Brett Hart's got his right there. Heart Foundation Hitman, Heart Foundation Anvil. All right, this is what I wanted to show. So we got Natalia, Jim the Anvil, Brian Pillman, and Brett Hitman Hart, the Hart Foundation. Obviously, I'm missing, I'm missing uh, British Bulldog and Owen, but Bulldog should be on his way soon. And Owen will probably never be on his way, unfortunately. Uh, but these are my guys. Let me know what you think. Comments below if you can. I think you can comment by now. Um, I'm very proud of all these. I can't wait to finish the set. I got a couple customs going on. Here are my customs. Alright, so all of my customs are here. I don't paint so the only thing I do is just switch parts so as you can see here's a raven I just put a shirt on because well it was the kind of the best shirt that could fit him obviously whatever um, here's the uh, impact yeah this is a really easy custom of Lance Storm I'm so happy with how um, my uh, buff bag will turned out. I know that his boots are not supposed to be red. The only reason I put those is because um, they were shorter. And the other boots, which were these, would make him look too tall. But I think his boots were always just black. I did watch a lot of videos and I tried to get these things right. But I just got to do some paint work eventually. Here's the franchise. And a Triple H body, obviously. But I think it looks awesome. That's the franchise right there. Um, that's my guy here. Here's Marcus Buff Bagwell. Here's Chuck Palumbo. Pretty cool. Obviously, I know that his boots were red. But these boots are too small. Here's 3 Minute Warning right there. Really cool. I love this shirt, how that came out. Really, really nice. Um, Johnny Stamboli. Taz, here's um, Sandman, and uh, uh, Jim Ross, Jerry the King Laura, President Obama, and Crash. That's about it. So we got we got everybody up here. Nice setup there. Um, somebody's missing a head. I think I was working on something there, but it just ended. All right, so this is my little setup.
This is my little review of the Heart Foundation. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. Let me know if this setup looks pretty nice. And uh, if these guys uh, fit in well. There's been a lot of Jim Anvil um, Nightheart figures. But I was waiting for the right one. And I think this is it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.